Hi everyone, welcome to the ninth annual and second virtual SUSPE award show hosted by SAC. I'm one of your hosts, Natalie Daniel, and I'm a senior on the women's swimming and diving team. Alongside me is Anna Harder, a fellow senior on the women's swim and dive team, Margaret Malky, a sophomore on the volleyball team, Marissa Lesko, a sophomore on the women's soccer team, Danny Hopkins, a junior on the men's track and field team, and Luke Schaefer, a junior on the men's cross country and track team. To kick off the evening, here's our very own athletic director, Chris May, with a few words. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, it's great to uh, kind of see everybody here, but uh, I want to, uh, first of all, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank for our, our SAC people for taking the lead to pulling this uh, 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 second annual virtual, and, and I'm praying like crazy, the last virtual sluice bees that we do for many, many years. But uh, you know, I, I do want to thank you, leaders, for pulling it together and making it happen. I want to thank and congratulate all of our student athletes for really a, an unbelievable job in an extraordinary year. Um, when I look back um, from all the COVID testing to everything you all have done, and you've done it with great grace, 99% um, of the time, um, you've you've done a great job in the classroom. You've competed unbelievably well. And you've really uh, shown our community how, how to lead. And so I want to thank all of you for, uh, for going on this journey this year. Um, many, many successes that we'll hear about tonight. Uh, and uh, I've been very, very blessed to get to help, uh, help many of you have some wonderful successes and to be there to see it. And so I thank you. I congratulate you. Um, best of luck for an unbelievably great finals week here to you graduates. We'll have graduation Zooms and we'll have all kinds of celebrations for you all. But uh, uh, as a whole, I couldn't be more proud and honored to, to work with and serve you all. And I congratulate you and I thank all of you leaders for helping to make tonight happen. Great job. I appreciate it. I'm going to jump off um, this part and I'm going to jump on the, the public part. But uh, thank you guys. Congratulations and great job. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll join you all out in the... Uh, out in the audience and uh, watch watch as the, as the night unfolds. So congratulations, thank you much, and we will uh, we will see you all around. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. And behalf, and on behalf of the Sleuth Speed Commit Sleuth Committee, we want to thank all of you for coming, and we're excited to share with you some highlights from the 2020 and 2021 athletic season. Uh, before we get started, we want to express. Our gratitude towards the athletic department, coaches, support staff, and our own teammates for making this year possible. In many ways, the athletic department made sure that this year would be one for the books, despite the challenges we faced. From witnessing women's soccer win their third straight conference championships to lifting in the third floor of all of Compton, athletes, coaches, and staff made us realize that anything is possible. And there are many things to take away from this year. It pushed us to be accountable past the confines of the pitch, court, track, or pool. It taught us to be accountable, not for the sake of our own health, but for the health and safety of others, an experience that I think will help teams grow beyond their sport. And most importantly, this past year taught me how to take a COVID spit test in one take. With all that being said, let's start the show. Here are tonight's order of awards. We start with academic performances, then move on to community service, then strength and conditioning. We'll go on to team MVPs, and after we have superlatives voted on by fellow athletes. Rounding out the evening with the Spirit Award, Step Up Award, Staff Member of the Year, and Coach of the Year. The final award of the night will be the prestigious Megan Boken Award. And since student comes before athlete, we'll start with our top academic performances. The team highest GPA goes to, obviously, the team with the highest GPA during the fall 2020 semester, as determined by Student Athlete Academic Support Services, better known as Heather and Roy. The nominees are softball, spirit team, and women's tennis. And the winner is softball with an average GPA of 3.66. Congratulations. Moving forward, we have the top individual academic performance. Normally, this award goes to a junior or senior male and female student athlete with the highest cumulative GPA determined by Billiken Student Athlete, athlete Academic Support Services. This year, we have chosen to include full-time grad students who have competed in an athletic season. We'll start with the men's nominees. We have Ryan Surin from baseball, Colin Bergman from baseball, 
Jansen Gamilla from Men's Swimming and Diving, and Jack Mika from Men's Soccer. And the winner is Jansen Gamilla. Congratulations, congrats Jansen. Moving forward with the women's nominees, we have Sarah Carlson from Spirit, Ellie Brents from Women's Soccer, Lindsay Turner from Women's Swimming and Diving, Katie Schmoody from Women's Swimming and Diving, and Megan Kress from Women's Cross Country and Track. And the winner of the top individual female athletic perf academic performance is Ellie Brents from Women's Soccer. Congrats, Ellie. The next award is the Team Community Service Award. This award goes to the team with the most community service done as a whole and has significantly contributed to an organization as decided by SAC's Outreach Committee. This year was especially difficult due to the inability to participate in outreach in person, but here are three teams who always make it a priority to give back to the community. This year's nominees are Cheer, Dance, and Softball. And the winner of the Team Community Service Award goes to Softball. This is what the Outreach Committee had to say about softball service. The softball program has always made it a priority to complete and go beyond required service hours each year. All of their coaches and players are continuously involved in doing many different types of service throughout the semester. We can always count on softball to attend slew hosted outreach events. Congrats softball. Our performance in the weight room greatly influences the way we compete and the following athletes understand how important lifting is to their sport. This award goes to a male and female student athlete that exemplifies the highest levels of achievement in aspects of leadership, the ability to follow instruction, work ethic, winning attitude, and consistency as chosen by the sports performance staff. And the winner on the men's side is Brandon Courtney from Men's Basketball. Congratulations, Brandon. And the winner for the Outstanding Strength and Conditioning Award for Females is Grace Golombuski from Field Hockey. Congrats, Grace. Moving on to the Team MVP Awards. This year was difficult for everyone, athletes and coaches alike. Many of us were doubtful that we'd get a chance to compete at all, and some of us seniors had to come to terms with the fact that we would have to graduate without the opportunity to participate in a normal season. However, as we began to compete again, we saw firsthand that through the environment in which we competed may have changed, our drive to win was the same. The following athletes were chosen as MVPs because of the motivation to keep the spirit of competition alive despite challenging circumstances. They embody what it means to be a leader in their sport, have a strong work ethic, and constantly give their all for the success of their team. First up is baseball. The MVP for baseball is Cam Redding. Cam is the baseball team MVP because he has been so steady as a player and gotten so many big hits to help us remain atop the A-10 race. Congrats, Cam. Next up is men's basketball. The MVP for men's basketball is Jordan Goodwin. This is his second consecutive year winning the team MVP award. Jordan has been a great leader for the basketball team. He led by vocal example, playing hard and with great passion. Also, his play on the court was at a very high level. Congratulations, Jordan. Next up, we have men's cross country. The MVP for cross country is Patrick Holbrook. Patrick led the team at the A-10 Cross Country Championships. He went on to lead the distance events and track at A-10 Champs, finishing fourth in the steeplechase and sixth in the 5K. Congrats, Patrick. Next up, we have men's soccer, and the MVP chosen was Chase Neese. Co his coach had to say that he was a rock in the center back position this season, starting 14 of 14 games and logging the third most minutes on the team. He also helped lead the team to a 0.64 goals against average, which is the 15th best defense in the country, and chipped in two goals for the year. Congrats. Next up, we have men's swimming and diving. The co-MVPs for men's swimming and diving are Jansen, Gamilla, and TJ Halliburton. Jansen won a bronze medal in the 100 fly and placed eighth in the 200 butterfly and helped in four relays. Jansen's times in these two events ranked third best all time in slew history. And TJ placed in the top eight in the 100 back and top 16 in the 200 backstroke at the A10 championships. He also helped in two relays. 
He leaves SLU with school records in the 50 backstroke, 100 backstroke, 200 backstroke, and the 200 medley relay. Congratulations, guys. Next, we have men's tennis. The MVP for men's tennis is Ryota Fukushima. He is a freshman on this year's men's tennis team. He came to St. Louis as a part of a top to rank recruiting class and had a 9-2 record in doubles and a 9-4 record in singles. He has been a consistent contributor to the team's A-10 wins this year and a win to help the team get to the 2021 quarterfinals of the A-10 championships. He was also named A-10 Rookie of the Week, which is the first time this has happened since 2007. Congratulations. Lastly, we have men's track and fields. The MVP for men's track and field is Ethan Arusha. Ethan won the triple jump with a school record leap and is a likely qualifier to the NCAA championships. In addition, he placed fifth in the A-10 high jump, equaling the school record. Now we're moving on to the women's MVPs. First on the women's side is women's basketball. The women's basketball MVP is Kaija Harbison. Head coach Lisa Stone had this to say about Kaija. Kaija is, in my opinion, the best player in the A-10 and will end up being one of the all-time best women's basketball players in St. Louis history. She is humble and kind and always puts the team first. She is amazing. Congratulations. Next up, we have women's cross country. The MVP for women's cross country is Megan Kress. She is number one on the women's cross country team and led the team at the Tennessee Tech invite and A-10 champs. She also went on to finish fifth in the 10K at A-10 track champs to lead the women's distance events. Congratulations. Next is field hockey. The field hockey MVP is Kendall Underwood. Kendall anchored our team this entire year. Even as a freshman, she held the team accountable and challenged us to be better every game. No matter the task, we always knew Kendall would give us her best any day of the week. Her presence on the field never went unnoticed. She was and continues to be a reliable and relentless force in the goal. Congratulations. Next up is women's soccer. The women's soccer MVP is Hannah Frederick. Hannah led all of NCAA, NCAA Division I with 14 assists this year. She was named the Atlantic 10 Offensive Player of the Year and First Team All-Conference. Hannah scored the game-winning goal in our 89th minute of the A-10 championship to send SLU women's soccer to a third straight NCAA tournament. Congratulations. Next, we have softball. For the first time ever, we have an entire class of athletes nominated for the award. Congratulations to the senior softball class, Alyssa Chavez, Sadie Wise, Kat Lane, Aubrey Hack, and Maria Connell. If there is a senior class to lead us through the challenges of a COVID season, this is the class. On the field, Aubrey and Alyssa's leadership as pitcher and catcher calling the game is undisputed. A vocal leader at shortstop and a steady force at first base, Maria and Sadie are unmatched on the infield. Kat's ability to lead in the center of the outfield is critical. All five of them contribute to our offensive production, accounting for half of virtually every offensive statistic and our day in and day out starters. Off the field, they have shown positive leadership and continue to guide our team through the season. Congratulations. Next is women's swimming and diving. The MVPs for women's swimming and diving are Emily Leonard and Natalie Daniel. Coaches say Natalie Daniel placed in the top eight at the A-10 championships and the 100 free and in the top 16 in the 50 free and 200 free. She set school records in both the 50 free and 100 free and helped in four relays. Emily Leonard placed fourth in the 500 free, six in the mile, and in the top 16 in the 200 free at the A-10 championships. She also helped in two relays. Emily's 500 free and 1650 free times are second best in SLU history. Congratulations. Next is women's tennis. The MVP for women's tennis is Elizabeth Mintisova. Elizabeth is a sophomore on this year's team. She played number one singles the entire season and had a record of 12 and two. She also had a record of 10 and three in doubles. She was twice named A-10 Player of the Week, which was the first time this happened in the past seven years. Elizabeth was also a singles and doubles winner in all of SLU's seven wins this year. Congrats, Elizabeth. Next up is women's track and field. The MVP for women's track and field is Katie Wissing. 
She has now won her third consecutive A-10 triple jump championship. Congratulations, Katie. Next is volleyball. The MVP for volleyball is Maya Taylor. Coaches say, Maya Taylor has led our team both competitively on the court and as the driving force keeping our team focused on our goals. She was a first team all conference selection and had a significant impact on our successes against our toughest opponents. Congratulations, Maya. Next up is cheer. The cheer MVP is Julia Tillak. Here's what Julia's coach had to say. Julia has always been able to light up a room with her presence. This was even more important this year since we were masked up while cheering. Her dedication and kindness are also going to help her to be a wonderful nurse. Congratulations, Julia. Finally, we have dance. The dance MVP is Alexa Alfenbaum. According to Alexa's coach, Alexa stepped up in her officer position on our team this year. She went above and beyond the expectations and showed us what true leadership looks like. We are so proud of her and her accomplishments this season. Congratulations, Alexa. Next, we're going to start with our school perlatives, which are awards voted on based on uh, all of our teammates voting. So first, we have our future venture capitalists of Billiken Athletics, also known as our Most Likely to Become a Billionaire Award. Our nominations for this award are Patrick Holbrook from Cross Country, Christina Stevenson from Softball, and TJ Halliburton from Swimming and Diving. And our Billiken that's Most Likely to Become a Billionaire is Patrick Holbrook from uh, Cross Country. Next, we have those who are willing to go primal for any shot at a million dollars. They're competitive, smart, and seek to outwit and outplay and outlast. Here are the nominees for athletes who are most likely to make it to the final tribal council. First, we have Katie Wissing from Track and Field, Ross Adkins from Men's Swim and Dive, and then we have Ethan Arusha also from Men's Track and Field. And then congratulations to our sole survival, which is Ethan Arusha. Next, we're going to have athletes that we're not entirely sure whether or not they're freshmen or seniors because their faces are just simply timeless. Our nominees for the athletes that are most likely to get ID'd at the age of 30 are Ashley Nicholas from Cross Country, Anna Smith from Field Hockey, and Emily Day from Volleyball. And one most likely to get ID'd at the age of 30 is Anna Smith from the Field Hockey team. And then next, we have the athletes who have had some close calls waking up for morning practices. Some common sayings among these athletes include, my phone didn't charge overnight, or I thought I set three alarms, when they actually use their calculator to have to try to set those at night. These nominees are Jack Thurl from Swim and Dive, Juliana Sacco from Field Hockey, and Juliana Phillips from Volleyball. So congratulations and good luck to Jack Thorl from Men's Swim and Dive. Next, we're gonna have athletes who can't live without each other next to each other at their hip. These athletes are for the best bromance in the athletic department, which is Derek Henderson, which is a coach, and Ryan Hernandez from baseball, Juliana Phillips and Maya Taylor from volleyball. And then we have Alex Dahl and, I'm sorry, Phil Costello and Alex Dahl from men's swimming. Sorry, I said that wrong. So congratulations to Phil Costello and Alex Dahl for the best bromance in the athletic department. And we're all jealous. Now we're gonna have athletes who constantly show you show up on your For You page on TikTok. These athletes sometimes might put a little more effort into learning dances than class material, but it might pay off for them in the end. Athletes most likely to get viral on TikTok are Giovanna Charles from Volleyball, Emily Schroeder from Women's Swim and Dive, and Cameron Tucker from Field Hockey. So athlete we're most likely to see in a hype house in the next few years is gonna be Cameron Tucker from the Field Hockey team. And then moving on from TikTok to TED Talks, here are the athletes that we all know can talk for days. Their conversations are both motivational, interesting, and probably very niche. Here are the nominees for athletes most likely to have their own TED Talk special by the time they're 30. First, we have Maya Taylor from volleyball, Alex Olson from men's track and field, and then Brooke Flowers from the women's basketball team. Congratulations to Alex Olson on winning this award. We're all very likely to hear you talk for days. And then next we're going to cross on to the last award of the day, which is uh, most likely to be the Billiken mascot nominee. Here, here are the people that you're going to see on the side of West Pine and shrink a little bit in your seat when they walk by, but somewhat willingly still barely give them a high five. First, under this mask holds more mystery than the exorcism room in the bird. But here we have our theories. The nominees that are most likely secretly also the Billiken on top of competing for their teams are Brant Wilhelm from Men's Swim and Dive, Katie Wissing from Track and Field, and Maeve Donovan from Field Hockey. 
So congratulations to Maeve Donovan, our actual Billiken that we have on campus with us. Now we will be moving on to our final awards of the night, including the Spirit Award, the Step Up Award, the Staff Member of the Year, the Coach of the Year, and of course the prestigious Megan Boken Award. To start, we have the Billiken Spirit Award. A student athlete that employs a positive attitude at every practice, game, workout, etc. They may be the person you can always count on to make light of a tough situation. Additionally, this student athlete uplifts not only their teammates, but also shows school spirit at the games, matches, meets, etc. of other student athletes. And the nominees are Brianna Halverson from women's soccer and Erin McClelland from field hockey. And the winner is Brianna Halverson, women's soccer. Congratulations. A fellow Billiken had this to say about Bree. Bree shows up to support other teams, sporting events, and I always see her up before the 6 a.m. practices doing individual sessions every morning. She is a loud and genuine leader for the soccer team. Congrats, Bree. Second, we have the Step Up Award, which is given to the student athlete who participated in several community service endeavors and substantially contributed to the athletic department. This person embodies the goals of the Step Up program, raises awareness of helping behaviors, increases motivation to help others, develops skills and confidence when responding to problems or concerns, and ensures the safety of self and others. This year's nominees are Sarah Daniels from volleyball, Alyssa Chavez from softball, and Megan Eng from women's cross country and track. And the winner is Sarah Daniels. This is Sarah's second year as the Step Up Award, uh, winning the Step Up Award and deservingly so. Here's what a fellow Billiken had to say about Sarah and her commitment to community service. Sarah is the SAC Committee Head of Outreach. She's extremely enthusiastic about organizing community service for the athletic department and found ways for athletes to give back to their community during COVID. She not only participates in service, but inspires others to do the same. Next, we have our Staff Member of the Year Award which has been created to recognize the extraordinary contributions and quality service of a staff member supporting the mission of Billiken Athletics. The Staff Member of the Year Award honors staff members who are committed to the excellence of student athletes' performances. The nominees are Elena Milio, Elena Milio from Athletic Training, Coach Vic in, for Weights, and Mary Woods, swim, Swimming and Diving GA. And the winner is Mary Woods from Swimming and Diving GA. Here's why Mary Woods is our staff member of the year. Mary came in as a new grad assistant in the fall. Over time, the swim and dive team has faced many challenges, like finding a facility to safely practice in amidst COVID, organizing time trials, and coaching the team of 70 athletes. When the team made the transition to practice inside, Mary bravely took the reins and created a schedule that accommodated the entire team and ensured that every athlete got proper and meaningful training in. Mary worked tirelessly with head coach Jim Halliburton to ensure the successful season. She's a highly valued coach who constantly inspires and pushes her athletes to be the best, to the best of their abilities. Next, we have the Coach of the Year Award, which is given to the coach who best demonstrates, best demonstrates throughout the season the true spirit of Billiken Athletics, a coach that encourages players in their education, training, and competition. A coach, that, a coach who has demonstrated a sound ability to develop and improve individual and team performance throughout the year. This person pushes others to be their best and is consistently stepping up to take the team to a higher level of success. This year's nominees are Kent Miller from volleyball, Zoe Adkins from field hockey, and Coach Katie Shields of women's soccer. And this year's award goes to Katie Shields. Congrats, Katie, and women's soccer on your third consecutive conference championship and third consecutive appearance in the NCAA tournament. Coach Shields led the women's soccer team to a 15-1-1 record and the best winning percentage of 0.912 of in the past 25 years. That is phenomenal. Congratulations. And now I have the honor of announcing the final award of the evening, the prestigious Megan Boken Award. This award is given to the student athlete who embodies the Billiken, which represents things as they ought to be, a generous, hardworking, and genuine role model. Megan Boken inspired others to not only be the best student athlete they could be, but also the best person they could be. Her fun-loving attitude, contagious laugh, 
servant leadership and humble demeanor personifies St. Louis University and the Department of Athletics. The award recipient is considered to be a fierce competitor on the court, a dedicated student in the classroom, and a welcoming teammate and friend, the true embodiment of a student athlete. This year's nominees are Natalie Daniel from Women's Swimming and Diving and Alyssa Chavez from Softball. Before we announce this winner, here are a few words from Alyssa and Natalie's coaches. Coach Christy Knoyer from Softball had to say this about Alyssa. Alyssa is one of the best in achieving SLU's objectives of education, competition, and building community. With exceptionally high character, she's an energetic, passionate, and dedicated leader whose care, whose care, compassion, and commitment to quality work is integral to our team. She knows what it takes to compete at a high level and works diligently to learn the intricacies of the catching position, becoming a critical defensive leader on the field. She connects with the diverse pitching staff, knowing and managing what each individual teammate needs in various, in various situations. She is a positive influence on the team and a caring leader with communication skills relevant to her peers and coaching staff. Her persistent effort and dynamic energy in practice and competition translate into a team trusted valued athlete. Alyssa then fulfills what is needed to achieve success in the classroom, as she has earned the highest academic athletic honors for the sport of softball, garnering NFCA All-American Scholar Athlete accolades, as well as the Atlantic 10 Conference Commissioner's Honor Roll throughout her career. Grad assistant Mary Woods from the swimming and diving team has said this about Natalie. Natalie Daniel is a true testament of what it means to be a SLU student athlete, passionate and hardworking, successful yet humble, positive and uplifting, and a true leader. Her obvious accomplishments, multiple school records, former team captain, part of the Doctor of Physical Therapy program while in a varsity division one sport, et cetera, speak for themselves, but what not everyone gets to see is what an inspiration to others Natalie truly is. She is kind, supportive, and encouraging of her teammates and others, but also possesses a competitive edge and standard of excellence in everything she does that is incredibly rare. Like Megan, Natalie is a role model in all aspects of college life to those lucky enough to share a space with her, whether that be a pool, a pool deck, in a classroom, or anywhere else. And the winner is, it's a tie. Both nominees received an equal number of votes. Congratulations to both Alyssa Chavez and Natalie Daniel on winning the Megan Boken Award this year. Before we end Sleepspeeds, I would once more like to thank our coaches, athletic department, and staff for their support and time to make every season successful, especially this year. Last but not least, I would like to thank the members of SAC and the Sleepspeed Committee for helping put on an amazing event. Without your leadership and hard work, this event wouldn't have been possible. We wish everyone a great rest of the night, and we hope you all continue to stay safe and healthy. Good luck on finals and roll bills.